Hi everyone, I am Rajesh Kumar. I am having close to 16 plus years of experience in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. I have worked with more than 12 software organizations around the globe. I would like to introduce you all a DevOps School's a flagship certification program in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. Uh, this program will get started in the weekends. Uh, so get involved. Uh, please contact us on the phone number given on the screen. And in fact, you can email us on, on the contact at the rate of DevOps School. Now the question is, how do we get this Linux box? How to get Linux box, Linux operating system? How to get it? For my, I have a lots of requirement for the Linux. How do we get it? So nowadays we work with hypervisor. Okay. So see, uh, you, there's one way you can install the Linux operating system in a physical box one. That means uh, laptop directly but that we will not do that why because that is a legacy mode we are not doing now this so what we do so we are getting the virtual virtual machines virtual server things we need to get virtual machine then you will say rajesh how can we get a virtual machines so there is a option which we have available so now you need to decide so there is a option which is called hypervisor Okay, there's a hypervisor. There's one option called hypervisor. And another option which is called cloud. That means this virtual machines, you can get it from the hypervisor or cloud. So hypervisor, you can say, is like you are creating your own, you are using your own hardware. Cloud, you don't own that hardware, someone else owns the hardware. So some of the examples I would like to tell you in the hypervisor world. So we have a VMware, which is hypervisor. VirtualBox, which is hypervisor, which is uh, a Hyper-V, this is hypervisor. Uh, KV, multiple hypervisors are there and so on. So this is the hypervisor. Now, if you go and use the cloud for getting the virtual machines, then you can use AWS, you can use Azure, you can use Google Cloud, all these things, uh, you can use it. Okay, so cloud is basically, see, you have a trial account, you have a free credit. So for example, in Azure, if you go for, you'll have a $200 free, I think 200 or 300, maybe something, one of these. And AWS, if you go, then you have a one year free trial account, but the problem is the 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 VM score uh, the one configuration you get it, which is very at lowest. You cannot use for any other thing. But learning AWS one. Okay, so this is AWS. This is Azure. Okay. Yeah. So there is one question which is is popped by Shish, and that is is what is the difference between Okay, what is the difference between hypervisor and cloud? So, see, theoretically, huge differences. So, I'll, I'll put it in this way. You'll understand this. So, this is the lots of hardware, okay? Lots of hardware we have it. This is the hardware. And on top of that, you put the hypervisor. And this is a hypervisor. Okay, so hypervisor, you put it up, install the hypervisor. And of course, there's an operating system below that. Some lightweight operating system. Now, using that, you can create a VM, virtual box. Virtual is the one VM of Linux. This is one VM of Windows. This is one VM of Mac. So these are the virtual machines you have. Now, this is something we will work on it. So this is the hypervisor. You have a hardware on top of it and n number of virtual machines, you get it. But question was, what is the cloud then? So if you set up a large clusters like this, very large clusters like this. Okay, and then started off, then you create one nice website. This is a nice website. And then you started inviting people, hey, anyone who 
who wants the virtual machines come to this website create a request here internally it will create a virtual machine here and you will get ip address and anyone can do that so that's cloud cloud means sharing the resources whole world can come to this website and this website will interact for the backend and get you the machines so cloud means aws is also running the hypervisor internally azure is also running a hypervisor but a large scale very large scale so if you want virtual machines from them you can log into their website create a virtual machine and use it but we will not do that we will set up a hypervisor small hypervisor and set up a small virtual machines and in that virtual machines we'll have a linux box are you understanding all of you yeah 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 so cloud is like a large for everyone but it's not for everyone today okay so ultimately both the places you get a virtual machine only the ui will change that's all okay so yes how do we get a virtual machine so today i am trying through the virtual box okay <clears throat> so next question you will ask <clears throat> how to install and download and install download and install <clears throat> virtual box i don't think so there is a challenge actually if you know how to install exe file in exe file then you will do that uh, also nothing great so virtual box is the open source software okay managed by oracle hyper v if you want to go for hyper v microsoft vmware vmware when i say vmware vmware is a company name vmware is a workstation actually okay that's a product they have a few paid product also so this is the hyper hyperbox download this for the different different operate, operating system windows host uh, this one mac linux also so you can install anywhere wherever you want the physical box and then after that install the operating system so you got the virtual box but where is the how to get os image how to get os image so guys <clears throat> earlier when you install the operating system you need a cds right in the physical server but when you create a vm you need a os image os means operating system image how do we get it so guys we decided <clears throat> we'll go for centos 7 and then ubuntu latest problem okay ubuntu so how do we get this OS image? So I'll give you exact URL so you will not get lost. So here, this is CentOS version 7, ISO is image, architecture, ours. From anywhere, one click and you get the ISO image. That's all. This is for CentOS 7. For Ubuntu, Ubuntu download. Desktop version, you have a UI. Okay, so I don't want you to practice desktop version. Anyways, you are working with the UI of Windows, right? Console. So I want you to get it a server version. Server version is lightweight also, but same time, uh, command driven. So here, I'll just cancel this download. From here, you download the server version. Server version means command line only. Desktop version means UI. Okay, console like Windows, no? That's all. So you'll download this particular two ISO file. And then you'll create an image. So Sorry, so you'll create an image. So, how to create an image? How to create VM virtual machine using virtual box? Okay, any new technology you will you use, it will be you will have a frustration for sure. You will have a frustration. But yeah, that is a quick question. Uh, should yeah. we follow along? 
Did you follow along installing things with you now? No, no, no. Parallel, uh, we don't do that. And they'll say, okay. hardly I'll be able to cover any topics in that. Okay. Because okay. it's a huge topic. No? Okay. Cool. So, how to create a VM using VirtualBox? So, first thing you know what VirtualBox I have installed. It. Let me show you. This is a VirtualBox, Oracle VirtualBox. It's a little outdated, but that, that will work. You guys will install the latest. This is a VirtualBox. See, they have notifier also. My version is outdated. So here, this is the virtual box. See here, create a new VM. And this is the way you can create a new VM and all. Okay, so now <clears throat> virtual box image, where it is. So basically, you know, I'll just tell you my plan. So I have a download and inside that software, one directory will be there. I need to clean my machine badly. It's like, see here, VMs. So these are the ISO, CentOS 7 ISO, minimal DVD. This is the 4 GB, this is 1 GB. 1 to 20 is a older version. It's a server edition, server edition 22. This is a Windows, I guess, server 2016. This is a Windows. Okay. So like that, you will have all the ISO image at one place. And after that, how to create a using VM. Okay. So now, this is this process. I'm going to show you should i show you or should i share the videos for you? because it will take 20 minutes what do you prefer you want me to show you or should i share the link of video i think link will be follow share the link. Save yeah our we'll link will somewhere. be better yeah so here i have a videos for that LMS. Uh, so by evening, you'll get the LMS access for all of you. Okay. So, so there is a one videos I have created recordings, and that is Linux, which Linux here. And here, Linux, Vagrant, VirtualBox. So these three tools I have to teach you today. So here, these are the live session of the older one. This August batch, you are in September. This is July batch but uh this is also old batch i don't remember though <clears throat> sorry this is april batch actually yeah so april batch we we have a six seven uh what do you say part actually and uh yeah and this is about some fundamental discussions you know package management this package management discussions probably you can watch it something somewhere i was talking about this one no package management same thing we have here and this is also some discussion so lots of videos are there i need to clean up actually because i think from last two years all this content is there but anyways so this is the what i want it will be 15 to 20 minutes of video how to create a virtual machine using virtual box if you if you feel stuck again we you know that how to do that so this way. so how to create a vm using virtual box it's a very easy process but it's just time consuming so this is the video you can refer it okay so we understood that okay we got the image we got the virtual box we got the create a virtual machines and all stuff like that after that <clears throat> after that after the creating virtual box virtual machines how to log in and work with linux linux machine linux server how to work with it so guys uh, this is important topic you have a login you can log in through ssh username and password you can log in through login through uh, what do you say? Uh, keys also. So what I'm talking about is protocol. Uh, so first thing, protocol. What is a protocol? Protocol. So protocol means let's say Windows, and you want to log into the remote Windows. This is your laptop, okay? This is your laptop, Windows laptop. I'll write it so you'll not get confused. So when you want to log into the remote 
Windows, then which protocol they be, we use, use it? Tell me. If you would have any issues with our channel membership, you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching.